Hey, it's Matt from Practice Perfect. Welcome back to our Client Portal Setup Series. In this video, we're going to look at how to set up the client profile in Practice Perfect for use with the Client Portal. Let's get started. Step 1. If you would like an existing patient to be able to schedule their own appointments online, there are several settings in Practice Perfect which should be reviewed. To begin, open the Client's Profile and select the Demographics tab. Below the Web Booking heading, you will notice a username and password field. These are set up by the patient when they initially register for the client portal. If a patient requests that you reset their username or password, you may do so here. The ability to see the client's web username and password can be disabled in the security settings under functions, show web username slash password. Step two. The last bit of setup is in the incidents tab. There's a new section in here called Web. Please note that these settings are incident specific, meaning that if the patient has multiple incidents, they may need to be altered for each incident accordingly. Each of these options will be enabled by default. The first option is Enable Web Booking. If this box is checked, the patient will be able to schedule their own appointments online. If you wish to disable this feature for this patient, uncheck the box. The second option is can book other than usual fee code. What is the default fee code for this incident? In the incidents tab, you'll notice a field called usual fee code. This represents the treatment or service you typically provide for this incident. If you only want the patient to be able to schedule this service, then you may uncheck this box. If you would like them to be able to schedule from all of your available services, the box should be checked. Please note, the fee code in the usual fee code must be set up correctly per part three of our client portal tutorial series. Last but not least, the can cancel checkbox will either allow this patient to cancel their appointments or it will prevent them from doing so. It will become available in a future release. Continue to part five for steps on how to approve newly registered clients as well as appointments booked in the client portal.